Good morning, my dear students. Today we will discuss about plant reproduction through stem, roots, leaves, and spores. Earlier, I had told you that plants can reproduce through seeds. Stems, roots, leaves, and spores. How new plants can grow from seeds? This I have explained you in my previous lecture. There are some plants like apple, mango chili these can be grown using seeds and today we will discuss how new plants can grow through stem you know about some examples like sugar cane rose these plants can grow using stem like this is your sugar cane and these parts are called the nodes when you grow a piece of sugar cane in soil having nodes this can form a new plant and if we talk about stem you all know that when a piece of stem of rose is cut and grow in soil this can also be grow into a new plant and this piece is called stem cutting and these can be grow into new plants only when these will get favorable conditions. These are the general examples. But if we talk about potato and ginger. Do you know these are also stems? These are the underground stems. Have you observed these birds on potato? These birds are called eyes of potato. And when these birds fall off and get favorable conditions, these can also be grown into new plants. This is all about the stem and now we will discuss how new plants can be grown using roots. Some examples like radish, carrot, turnip. These can be grown using roots. Yes, this is your carrot. And you all know that this part of the carrot is always under the ground. And this is only used to grow a new plant and now we will discuss how leaves are used to grow a new plant there is a plant bryophyllum and the leaf of the bryophyllum 
had some tiny leaves or the buds on its mud. When these fall off in the soil and get favorable conditions, they grow into new plants. Now we will discuss how spores grow into new plant. There is a plant, ferns, Spores are the powder like substance present on the leaf of ferns. When these spores fall on the ground and get favorable conditions, these grow into new plants. This is all about how the parts other than the seeds can be used to grow the new plants and this kind of reproduction is also known as vegetative reproduction means when the new plant is grown by the parts other than the seeds then the reproduction is known as vegetative reproduction thank you and have a nice day